Okay, this is a one-shot deal video here since I haven't got a video editor. But as you can see, this is my single board that's down here. These are shift registers that I ain't got plugged in. I just got their power and sources going to the ground in the positive, but not doing anything. But I'm using my three here to light up these LEDs here. These LEDs here are what lights up on these three, uh, on these, uh, on my triple uh, breadboard table that I, that, I, that I have here. And that's that. And then when I go like this, that's my Raspberry Pi right there. It's breadboard cobbler. And then I got, it only has an energy hub only. And as you can see, it's only an energy hub. That's all that is, bread, tiny breadboard wiring. And then the little tiny ports down here They're more or less my GPI ports. This is pin 20. This here is pin 22. This is pin 27 and pin 17. And they're all in nice order here. And this here is powering the, ent the entire register, three registers that are daisy chained into these yellow wires. The blue wires are daisy, daisy chained and they're collecting the data and resetting the data clock and everything. And they're they're right here. But the order they come out in is not the way I physically placed them as I did mention on a post of mine on my community page. But this here is I use a breadboard cobbler. That way I keep everything nice and protected without actually wrecking any pins from bending or breaking over time in the Raspberry Pi itself. And that's my ultimate breadboard layout right there. And that's what you have right there. And that's, that way I can detach my whole entire uh, shift register set. And I'm going to put a little timer somewhere in here. I want to put something else right here so I can actually work this with a clock. And then I'll put the clock on my third breadboard down on my breadboard table here, which I'll just kind of gaze at. See? Now I'm going to turn the pie on. And we'll see what happens. Like this. Now, when I first turn the pie on, the lights uh, by random will come on because it, all the, the pins are all alive, except for a few that are randomly caught in the shift registers. I just got with my Pi to boot up. And I'm going to show you how they work. And that's my Raspberry Pi window right there. Yeah, you see, it's all lit up, ready to go. From my little tiny monitor. Now with this. Now these shift registers have actually helped make this thing be a logical hat with all these LEDs. These 24 LEDs I got here and that little, well it's 14 LEDs and that little light strip there you see that makes 24 lights all together anyway. I have 24 of them and that's sh this sh separate shift register breadboard here. I can easily disassemble it all without worrying about anything. But with these little shift registers I only got a couple of them so I ain't going to be doing direct soldering with them unless I ever really want to one day for a permanent piece of work. But they are a prototype part of the hat to make this part here work to eventually go into the Raspberry Pi as you see over here. All this starts to go into the Raspberry Pi. Little tiny buzzer chips that are there but they're not plugged into the shift registers. But they will do little noises like well I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you what they do. We'll just stop this little Python program here. We will show you what they do. Move my 
to you. We're a bit near the Arctic. Where are you? Where are you? Arctic, where are you? Where did you go? No, where did you go? Where did you go? Here we are, yeah, that's it. No, oh, that's not it. Hmm, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Huh. Here, that's not it either. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Here we go. Now, this here is my binary, my binary program I made, the one I was looking for. I should have called it 24 bit, I didn't know. But this is what I'm looking for here. Now, if I go like this, I'll stop it because I can't control the camera with this at the same time to do a cold power off. But we're going to go to example uh, one, and we're going to make the bits come out backwards or inverted. See how they come out inverted? Now, if I go like this, and I type in zero, you'll get the counting the right way. And you hear the sound, the little tiny sound buzzards at the same time. So I got that in there if I want to use that. And now to make them play backwards. Two, one, two. They'll play backwards. See that? Make them play backwards. Now what I'm going to do is make them play backwards in verse. Backwards in verse. Or in verse backwards. See that? When the bits are actually off, they're counting. It's the actual inverse, but backwards. And if I go like this, Exile on like that, it's still counting in binary, but you see them fly along the shift registers. See that They're flying along the shift registers. Now, if I go like this and I change my index value from four to five, I only got five values to change to make the different tricks. Now, it'll go inverted and fly. But it's actually counting ones and zeros. That's actually counting game, but it doesn't look like it is. But this, there you have it. This is how I hooked up all my shift registers. Along with my Raspberry Pi. With this little breadboard white wiring in the cobbler. Right down to the machine here. And that's that for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a one-shot deal.